This video is for data structure beginners who are willing to learn binary search tree, also known as BST. Here we have used OOPS concept to create a console based mini project on BST using Eclipse. Let's get started. A tree is a nonlinear data structure inspired by nature. Just like actual tree roots, this data structure contains a root node. We use tree to store information that naturally forms a hierarchy. A good example would be a family tree. The oldest ones are at the base and the children form the outer nodes. Yes, each element in the tree will be called a node. Every node is connected to multiple child nodes. But in case of a binary tree, there are maximum of two child nodes, left and right. But a binary search tree is something more. Here, the left child is always less than the parent node and the right child is greater than the parent node. This structure specifically helps in search operations. Let us understand with an example. Say we have a group of students with their scores for a math test. We shall create a binary search tree based on their marks which will help us find the lowest or highest scorer very easily. We shall also create a method to print those students details who scored within a specified range. In the process, we shall also learn the three ways of traversal in a binary search tree. Let's get started. First, we create a student class with name, role and score. Using a parameterized constructor, we set values in these variables. During an object creation, student details will be passed to this constructor. Also, we shall override the toString method to print object details when created. Now, we will create the tree node class with a student and a left and right child. When objects are created for the tree node, we pass a student object to its constructor. The left and right child are by default set to null. Now we are all set to create our binary search tree class and define any utility method we want. First, we globally declare the root tree node. This is going to be the access point for our score tree. We begin with the insert method where we accept n as an integer input which tells us the number of students our tree will contain. Then using a while loop we repetitively ask the users to input details of n students. Here we have used a scanner class and its methods to accept console based user input. If you haven't heard about it, do not bother yourself much as it is not needed to understand the topic for this video that is binary search tree. All you need to know is that you have to import the scanner class from java.util package. We create a student object from the user input and pass it to the tree node constructor, creating add node, which is then passed to the insert util method. In insert util method, the first conditional block checks if the root node is null. If true, it indicates that this is the first insertion in our tree so we simply update the root with the new tree node on next insertion the compiler does not enter this block rather it compares the score of current student node with the new student node to be added if the new student score is lesser than the function is recursively called with the current node's left child otherwise the call is made with the right child before making the recursive call we check if the child node is null. If true, then this is the position to insert the new node. Observe the animation for the third insertion.
to check if our methods are working properly we must print our binary search tree to serve the purpose we create methods named in order and in order util the method in order simply calls in order util with the root node in in order util we first check if the root node is null if so we return otherwise we make a recursive call with the left child then print the current student node's data then again recursive call with the right child now just by changing the order of recursive calls and print statement we obtain methods called pre order and post order that's simple to find the lowest scorer we search for the leftmost node in the tree starting from root likewise the rightmost for the highest scorer easy all because we maintained a particular order during insertion the left child is smaller and the right child is bigger than the node value for printing students in the score range we simply make the in order traversal only before printing we check whether the student score lies in the range or not Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment below. Bye for now. See you soon.